Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a Tuesday's Tips and Tricks video, and this is going to be a new series that I want to start, and it's basically just going to focus on different makeup tips and tricks, like maybe different um, ways to apply your eyeshadow, or like blending, just different kinds of tips and tricks based on makeup, and they're going to be uploaded every Tuesday, obviously why the title is Tuesday's Tips and Tricks. Today's tip is going to be to blend your colors. Obviously this is not looking very great if you can tell. I was inspired by a girl that I had seen today at school and this is exactly how she did her eyeshadow and I just wanted to tell her, I just want to be like, let me, here girl, let me grab my makeup bag, I'll hook you up, help you out. But you know, that's, I didn't want to do that. So this is what I decided to do instead. Instead I'm going to show you the correct way to blend your colors together because the lines are just too harsh like that's really bad like that's how she had it and the colors she chose were really pretty but she just did it the wrong way and if I would have told her then she would have known but anyways I'm just going to do that so let's get started okay. so right now this is what I have on my eyes um just very light nice colors red pink and like a goldy goldy ish kind of color um so I just have this brush right here by e.l.f. It's just an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to take this color here, the gold color, and I'm going to get some of that on my brush. And the way you do this is, let me just grab my mirror. So you have your gold color, or your first color, and your second color, and your third color. What you're going to do is you're going to take your first color, which is I have here, and right where the line is, so that... The lines are right there. Right where that line is, you're going to take the first color and just pat it over the line. So that means that the color will be getting on the gold and on the pink. And you'll just do that. So that is already looking much better because it's blended out. Okay, then you're going to take your second color, which is my pink, and then you're just going to do the same thing and focus that onto the first color where the line is, or kind of was. Now we're just going to do the same exact thing with the second color and the third color. So I just have my second color right here and I'm going to go on the line and go ahead and do just like the first. I'm just going to take the third color and go ahead and do that with the second color just like we have been doing I'm just going to take it and pat it all over that harsh line and I, you can see the big 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 difference between the two eyes and I personally like this one much much better so now I'm just going to go back to my the other eye and I'm just going to do the exact same thing Okay, so I wasn't recording what I was trying to record. I was talking to the camera for like a whole five minutes, and then I realized that my camera wasn't even playing. So, basically, what I just had said was that to fix it, like to fix the the eye, we already, like, I taught you how to blend it so that the lines aren't so harsh. But now I just, I just went and I took this brush and I blended it all out, and I did circular motion starting from my outer corner, and I just circled all the way up like that and then kind of just blended, blended, blended it all out. Just so that the line wasn't so harsh and that it had like more of a soft, you know, like a nice soft feel to it. Or feel, not, can't, well you can, but you know what I mean, soft appearance. So that's what I just did right now. And then I just said that I'm taking my e.l.f. Liquid, like, liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to do my top line. And you don't have to do this if you want the look um, 
not to not be so dark then you don't have to do this I'm just gonna do this because I this is it's something that I do daily so now I've just put on my top liner with the wing and now I'm just going to go ahead and take a white pencil liner by NYC you can use whatever you want I'm just going to take that and do my waterline Next, I'm just going to take this brush right here. You can use a nice pencil brush if you'd like. And I'm just going to take a highlighter and put that on my corner. And I'm just going to start take it from here, and I'm just going to take it around and down. Just like that. I'm just going to take this brush. I would recommend maybe you can use a pencil brush, or you can even use like an angled, angled brush if you want to. And I'm just going to take the pink. You can choose whatever color you want. You can use the first color, the second color, or the third color. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that underneath my eye. You don't have to do this step, I just wanted to kind of experiment and do something a little bit different, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Now, I'm just going to go back, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and get my mascara on, and I'm just using the Maybelline Grey Lash Mascara. Now I'm just going to take my concealer and clear up underneath my eyes. I would recommend that you use a brush for this. But I don't have a clean one. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this brush and highlight. So there we go. Um, that is the makeup tip for today. I just wanted to make everyone aware of the common makeup mistake that we make by not blending our colors out because you can really create a very pretty color or very pretty eye you know with several different colors but it seems that we kind of don't blend it out the right way. We get harsh lines and it doesn't it just kind of throws off the entire look. But anyways, I really like my eyes right now. I think it looks very nice. And if you like it too, make sure you give this a big two thumbs up. Also, um, subscribe for more videos. I'm planning on doing two videos every Tuesdays for the Tuesdays um, tips and tricks. And then probably every mm, Saturdays maybe. Uh, and I'll probably just be throwing out random videos there too because I like to record. So, yeah, and just follow me on the media sites, and I will leave the link down below as well as the products that I used. Bye!